Hello everyone. Welcome back to the bookshop. My name is Shelley and I am still on day one of the 100 day project. I just felt like I could not move on without doing this follow up. I uh, showed Caroline's kit, her little photo slides, but I didn't use them. And I really wanted to use at least one or two. And I did have another idea or two that I want to show you if I have time. But I've really prepped almost everything beforehand so that this can be a quick video. I actually did try to videotape it last night and um, my head was in the screen for almost the whole video. I don't know what happened. I must have changed the camera angle, but I did learn a few things from the my first day one video, and that was because my head got in the camera a couple of times just for a second, but so I've got to keep my head out of the camera shot, my hands in the camera shot, because I did notice that I was working off screen a couple of times. Not during anything important, but um, yeah, I gotta, this gotta be in here, right? Is that, yep, in the white square pretty much is where I should be working. So, and what was the other thing? Oh, I forgot to hold the stuff up. I mean, I laid it out here, the stuff I had finished, but with the glare and stuff on the plastic, it, you couldn't really see it. And I had done some stuff to it after I shut off the camera. So I just wanted to show them. I, I need to stand up and see how. Okay. I put um, a gold eyelet on each one and inked them. That's about it. And I know what I was worried about the glue, which is totally gone. You cannot see any glue. But during the, the first video, I... Um, kept checking and kept checking to see if the glue had dried clear but by the time you know overnight it did so yeah this is another gold eyelet and then here's the other one um, little ink little eyelet kind of helps with the look so those are the three I did I did plants instead of butterflies I know Rachel and her sister Sarah both did butterflies and they both used Tracy Fox's kit. So I'm using Artie Mays. This is Artie Mays. And if I have time, I want to do another Artie Mays. I want to do the long one. And then I'm using Caroline's Craft Tree. It will be in the description. She has these little photo slides. They have a uh, nine different ones. This one's like book page. There's some with sheet music, graph paper, um, script. There's just a big variety. You get two of each. So obviously you can make these kind of things. And then I think I said before that it comes with a third page that has um, sepia colored photographs, old vintage photographs. Uh, so they're they're cute. I I had made, I showed it in the other video, something like this and was going to buy some vintage photo slides and I really like these. I think they're going to take the place of that. So anyway, now that I've went over everything I already said in the first video, Let's do this. Like I said, I cut everything out already. I got my butterfly ready. So I can just quickly do these. I want to use Caroline's. I'm going to do a butterfly and I think I'm going to do a flower in the other one. Let's get the art glitter glue. I'm pretty sure I can't put my get my head in the screen. Because um, the camera's a lot lower. Hopefully it's not too low. Oh, there were four things. It was keep my head out of the screen, my hands in the screen. Um, show the items up closer. And I noticed that my arm went across the screen quite a few times. I have a little garbage can over here. 
and um, so I got to remember throw the trash away with the left hand those were the four takeaways <laughs> that I got from watching my first video I was so nervous though guys really so I don't know this up just a little ways okay these pieces of plastic I'm using are leftovers so they're just barely big enough but I thought I could use them they are the right size okay so now we'll put our butterfly in there and I think how do we want to situate him? Boy, it just barely fits, but I think that's the right angle for him. Okay, put a little glue. I hope everybody's doing okay. Not too bored. I have to admit, it's not a lot different for me. I mean, I don't go out a lot. So, I just come in here and craft. I've been gardening. I live in Portland, Oregon, and I swear for the th past three years or so, we have went straight from winter to summer. There is no spring anymore. It's like 70 degrees. And by three o'clock or so, it's almost too hot for me to garden in the, you know, in the sun. I try to work in the shade when it's that time of day, but yeah, by then I'm ready to come in. It's just hot. Okay. Karen's little kit has Karen. Caroline's little kit has these labels some of them are blank but like this one says is that August 22nd 1909 so that's kind of cool I think they all have the same butterfly name but they almost, um, most of them, they have several different dates on them. So just a tiny glue. And... Okay. There's that one. Done and done. I did find out, I know in the first video I talked about my camera, I thought I only had about 40 some minutes. And when my, I did my first attempt at the follow-up, took me a little longer. Uh, I need some glue in here. And um, my camera shut off at 47 minutes. 
So I knew it was something like that. This is coming out. Okay. So yeah, it says uh, you've reached maximum file size or something like that, which I don't really understand. I mean, I have a SD card that the video goes on to and it could hold, you know, five hours. So it must be just the phone can only uh, go so long. Ah, it's a bubble. Okay, there we go. Okay, the rest of it looks pretty good. Okay, so that's the first one. Then we're going to do a flower. I don't know. I don't want to do a daisy because I did a daisy on yesterday's. Um, I was kind of thinking about this. Oh, am I in the screen? <laughs> I got to remember that. <laughs> to say hey. I was kind of thinking maybe a fern and this little, I don't know what this, this looks to me almost like a miniature hydrangea. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I did two ferns. I did two with fern yesterday. So I think my options are, I like this little, this is paper. I have the Tim Holtz Wildflowers and Garden Greens, I think it's called. Oh, that's so cute. That's cute, kind of, huh? Something like that. Um, I don't know. You can't really see the stem. And I don't want to go sideways. I mean, I could, but that's what I did with both of the ones from yesterday. So, let's see. Let's just keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. Let's do that. Let's do just do pink. We'll do pink. I'll use two of them side by side. Just, oh, that's cute. I think that's cute. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, like I said, this is a follow-up, so I really, really, really want it to be as simple as possible. What am I? Oh, I need some plastic. Oh, is this big enough? It's so hard for me to see it. Hmm, I think it is. Yeah. Uh, does it need to be trimmed? I don't know if it seems like it's sticking off the side a lot. Am I am I on the screen? I'm over here working again. Can you I guess my hands are on screen, so not too bad. I mean this needs a sliver off, which it's so hard to see. I should use the bigger scissors. I don't want to take too much off or there won't be, there's hardly anything here to glue on. We'll try that. Uh, let me, if you leave this out for more than a minute, it dries up. So I'm going to Put the pin in there, make sure that it works when I need it. Okay, let's put these back, those big old scissors. Okay, here's one piece, here's one piece. Okay, so let's put some glue on here. I gotta be very careful or it'll squeeze. 
squish onto the plastic. I could do this and then I know there's not really any excess. I like to cut the four corners. I should have. That kind of makes it easier. I wonder. Just barely got it, but I think I got it. Okay, so let's put. The pink daisy first. I have to be careful not to break these. Let's just smear it around. That's plenty. Okay. Uh, when I pick them up is when they break because you kind of fold it up and then it I have all kinds of dried flowers I said that before these are purchased ah see I did break it um, I have another one okay Let's try it again. I wonder how that broke goes. Okay. I'll take the side with the little petal and overlap it. There we go. Just like that. That's it. That's all we're doing. Okay. Let's do a little tiny glue. There, I got that off. Okay. Now this. Now I get closer to the edge. Last time I had to and make sure I don't go up too high either. I think it. Oh, my. Uh, don't go way up there. I'm off screen. Here. I'll get the camera down here, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully I'm not too off today. The first one, I, ha I think I had the camera angle good. Okay, around the edge. 
it is. Okay. Yeah, I might... I think I have the camera clo closer. Oh, and I know what it is, too. I totally forgot. That's why the camera looks so close. When I'm first getting ready to start, I look at the camera angle. I get it all set up. But then I realized when I turn on the camera, it comes in a little bit. It shrinks my screen. So when the camera's not rolling, the screen is like pretty much the size of this pad. But when I turn the camera on, it comes down enough. I can see it came way in at least almost two inches. So I should... Yeah, all this gray matte area does not appear to be on the camera. And yeah, I don't know. There's, I got to remember that. Put the camera up just a little bit more. Okay. That's number two. Let's get rid of this. And we're done with those. This one, I think, instead of a label, I wanted to do something different. I have these um, stamps, AliExpress, one of my favorite places to shop. I know um, some people have like been boycotting or something AliExpress. I hear Gail talking about it a lot. Some um, of Jen Bishop's designs were stolen. But it makes me wonder if she thinks AliExpress is one store. Because boycotting AliExpress because a vendor stole someone's designs, that'd be like boycotting Etsy because someone did. I mean, there's thousands of vendors and I never buy paper on AliExpress. That, that saves me from getting anybody's papers that, you know, don't belong to them. I mostly buy dyes. Mm. To be perfectly honest, I buy cheap China stuff like these stamps. You could never get these stamps here for $2 or something. I bought the capital letters, the lowercase, the numbers, all three of them. I think it was less than $5. There are three separate sets. These are the numbers. And they hook together. They clip together. That's what I was looking for. Okay, let's put sample. Ah, there we go. There's um, no number sign. Where's, I have a red pen here. Sample. Let me make sure. Let's do... Okay, and then what here? I'll just take a couple of these that are already hooked together and we'll do sample number 45. There. Oops. Um, got to be careful when you wipe these off. The little green rubber part will come out. But yeah, they just hook together. I could put the sample right. Sample 45, like that. They have these little... But they're fun. They're fun. I like that. I think that's cute. Something different from all the other different labels. Yesterday I used some of Tracy Fox number labels. Okay, so there's two. How much time have we used? 
24 minutes. So I have about 20 more minutes. I really don't want to use all the time, but let's do this one. This is one I really want to do. This is Artie Mays. I need a big piece. I need, this is my vintage photo album where I get my plastic. Let's see, oh, this is the perfect length for this here. Let me close this and then I'll just cut up the side and hopefully it'll be just about perfect. And I hope I'm not cutting the, wouldn't that be terrible if I took this away and my frame was all cut? <laughs> This is my look. Okay, take the paper out and double check. Yeah, that's gonna be just right. Okay, so first of all, little glue. Okay, now this is going to be another floral one, and I have a flower from my garden uh, on a longer stem instead of like the little ones I did yesterday, but I also want to use these. These are some of the, I showed a little piece over there earlier. These are from the wildflowers die cut. And I did two from each die and I just flipped the die so I could get it back in the front. So I'm gonna, let's put a piece of paper under here so maybe I don't get too much glue on my mat and see if we can do this quickly Oh, am I getting my hair? Did I get my hair in there? I bet I did. I could feel it on the camera. Oh, good. Almost perfect. The stem is hard. Get up over there. There we go. The leaf, come on, there, not bad. There's a little bit of white showing. Now yeah, there's a little bit of white showing. We'll see if we can fix that, okay. Little dot, 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 dot. Okay. Let's put the pin in. Okay. Let's 
start at this end. Uh, I was off by a millimeter and uh, you can't take it back. So they both have a little bit of white, but we will fix that, I think. This is the Stampin' Up! Old Olive. My sister sent me, what, 24 of these? Most of them have never been opened. I love you, Lori, if you see this. And I love the stamps and the ink. There we go. That covered that white that was showing. Am I getting my hair in there? God bless it. <laughs> okay. Oh, down there, so it matches. It's covering most of the white, a lot more than. Okay, yeah. Oh. Oops, be careful. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. I could try and go in there, but that's too time consuming. Oh, the back. Shoot, I almost forgot. Okay, that looks much better. Okay. Ah, good enough. That's got to be good enough. There you go. thinking I want to use this blue one. So let's lay these out. Maybe like that. Now these, they fall apart so easily. I'm not even going to set it down. I won't be able to pick it back up and down. And up. But I like that. I think that's going to look good. So, oops. It's stuck to me. Let's just put a couple dabs of glue on each one. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. This one. I think I already said these are from the Tim Holtz Wildflowers. Yeah, 
even like the edge goes just slightly off. Okay, now this little guy was out making him fall apart. Hopefully, I don't know if I can do these blue things. They are the ones that fall off so easily. Okay, I got a couple dots on there, a couple dots on the stem. It's hard to put it on the stem because I don't want it to go out. And there we go. That's where we're going to put it. Okay, a bit of glue there. But okay. Okie doke. Oh, shoot. You know what I just did? I put it instead of inside, but you know what? I can't, I can't move that. <laughs> so, oh, I can't believe I did that. Okay. Um, I'm not going to obviously take them off. I didn't put it inside the plastic. I laid it on top. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Now I've cut it too skinny. Is this one? Nope, let's try this again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I cannot believe I did that. Okay. Yeah, that's wide enough. Now I gotta cut this. I don't want two layers. Okay. There we go. Okay, jeez. Uh, let's see if my glue dried up. Nope, there we go. Okay. There it is right there. I hope it doesn't look too weird. I mean... <laughs> I hope you can't tell, is what I should be saying. I gotta make sure I don't put too much glue on. should try to quickly get some a little bit on here okay and then get it closed I think I got it. Okay, 
Okay, let's move this. Okay. I need to hold this down. Hopefully I got glue in between all the layers so it doesn't... I mean, with all the layers it could... Like pop up if something is not. I got it all the way around the edge on the paper part, so this will stick. It's just all that cellophane now, I'm not sure about. Okay, but not too much glue showing anywhere, so I think. Hopefully some of these little smears of glue will come off when my hands are clean. No, actually, I don't see much. There we go. That's that one. And I want to use... I want to use one of... Artie Mae's tags, I think, for this. Where's my pen? Ouch! <laughs> oh! Okay, so let me see where we're at, 42 minutes, okay, it's going to go off. Okay, well, we did it, I mean, I did it, I got it, 42 minutes, there might be about four or five minutes left, but that's not enough to do anything else. I was going to try and do one more with the slots, but like I said, this is the second time I'm doing this video. I didn't do, like I didn't do this one last night, and I did a different version of that, but I do have the slots one I was going to try and do. I just, I got glue everywhere. So I didn't really like that. So I was going to redo it. But isn't that cute? And these are the antenna I used made with the broom bristles. So here's this. Let me get up here and see. So there's no glare. Well, there's glare no matter what. And there's this one with her little label. And this one. Another one, Caroline's Craft Tree. She has some great kits. I've made kits from her rose kit, her lovely lavender kit. Um, it seems like I have some other stuff, but I will link her shop and also the um, video that has the freebie for all the butterflies and the labels that's a youtube freebie okay and then we got the ones from yesterday so there's my 100 day project day one and a half <laughs> and oh uh, I'm done. Hopefully this isn't too bad because I'm not redoing it, no matter how much my head got in the camera. So thanks everyone for watching. Please let me know if you like it and a thumbs up or something. I would really appreciate it. And obviously you can tell I need subscribers. But either way, just let me know if you liked it. I'd appreciate it. Okay. And I'll be back with day two. As soon as I can manage it. I've got to catch up. Rachel's on day eight. Okay. Bye, guys.